Hi, this is Andrew from LaptopReviews.com and I have here with me today the HP DV7000 series quad edition notebook. Comes with the latest Intel Ivy Bridge Core i7 processor, 8GB of RAM and an NVIDIA 650M um, graphics card. Um, this particular model retails for $899 starting out, um, but once you make some of these upgrades the price is usually closer to around $1000. So today I just wanted to give a quick overview of the, the notebook. Um, this is not an in-depth review, just kind of a tour of what you get here. So first of all, I wanted to demonstrate the, uh, the fact that you get the backlit keyboard. So in order to do that, I'm going to have to turn off the lights here to demonstrate. You'll notice that um, there's a key there that's lit up that indicates wireless that's on the keyboard. If I hit the F5 key, the entire backboard will light up so I'll just kind of tilt it up so you can see that a little better there the white backlight and it just has one setting it's either on or off there's no dim or bright or anything like that it's just on or off bringing the lights back up there um, <clears throat> The, uh, the screen on this is a 1600 by 900 resolution, which is a standard. The uh, upgrade that's available is a 1920 by 1080 screen. Um, the, that is also a matte screen. This particular screen you're looking at has a glossy finish, so you'll, you might, may notice reflections in there. Um, it has a full-size keyboard that includes a number pad on the right-hand side, so if you're an accountant or have to crunch a bunch of numbers, that could be handy for you. Um, the entire body is a midnight black color, so uh, it's got a little bit of a brush aluminum finish there you can see as well. The speakers are located at the top side of the keyboard here. It's got Beats Audio. It also has a built-in subwoofer that we'll take a look at here soon. Uh, there's actually a speaker on the screen as well, so it actually has quad speakers. Um, the lid design is just like what you see inside. It's got a midnight black finish with a kind of a silver trim finish around it. So uh, let's take a look at some of the ports you get on this notebook now. Just unplug it here. So on the left hand side you have the heat vent here. Then we have the VGA monitor out port, HDMI, and then here's an Ethernet port that's covered. So I'm not going to pull that off right now. Then you have two USB 3.0 ports. Then you have a microphone and then a headphone jack. Coming around to the front side, you don't actually, well actually, yeah, you do get an SD card slot. It's right on the underneath side here. A little hard to see because it's dark. Now on the right hand side, you got a USB 3.0 port. Then you have USB 2.0 port. This is the optical drive, it's actually Blu-ray. And then there's a power jack right here. On the back side, there's nothing. So I'm just going to kind of flip over to the underside here. Before I do that, I'm just going to put a post-it note over my uh, Windows registration key there, just in case uh, there's any people out there that wanted to read that and can't use it. Um, so it's pretty easy to access the internals of this notebook. Um, I'll actually demonstrate that just by taking off the bottom panel that you can get to things like the hard drive. Um, there are two hard drive bays in here, so you can install an extra drive or SSD. You can also get to memory as well. So all it requires is simply using a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the bottom panel. And you turn it off. It simply slides off. And by doing that, you have access to, like I said, you have a hard drive bay down here that's empty. I did not configure it with anything. Um, you have the installed hard drive here, memory over here, and you have a PCI slot here. The battery is removable. I'm not going to pop that out because I only put it into sleep, so if I do that, I'm just going to shut down the computer um, <clears throat> unintentionally. So it's easy to put that back on. You just have to slide it in, like so, and just simply tighten the screw back down. So. Anyone that's looking to find an upgradable laptop, this certainly would fit the bill. If you stay tuned to LaptopReviews.com, we'll have a full review of the DD7000 Series Quad Edition Notebook coming up.